British Shorthair Cat vs Scottish Fold Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? You may not realize it, but you probably grew up with the British Shorthair. He's the clever feline of Puss in Boots and the grinning Cheshire Cat of Alice in Wonderland. The British Shorthair is native to England. With the rise of cat shows during the Victorian era, cat fanciers began to breed the cats to a particular standard and keep pedigrees for them. At the earliest cat shows, British Shorthairs were the only pedigreed cats exhibited. All others were simply described by coat type or color. Two world wars devastated the breed, and few British Shorthairs remained after World War II. With the help of other breeds, the Shorthairs, as they are called in Britain, were revitalized. The American Cat Association recognized the British Shorthair in 1967, but the Cat Fanciers Association did not accept it until 1980. Now, all cat associations recognize the breed. The creation of a new cat breed hinges on a natural genetic mutation that occurs unexpectedly in an otherwise ordinary cat. Such was the case with the Scottish Fold. Members of the breed today can all trace their heritage back to Susie, a white cat with unusual folded ears who earned her keep as a mouser in a barn in Scotland's Tayside region. Susie might have lived her life in obscurity had she not been noticed in 1961 by a shepherd named William Ross who had an interest in cats. When Susie had kittens with a local tom, Ross acquired one of them. a female he named Snooks. In the natural way of things, Snooks had kittens and one, a male was bred to a British shorthair. Thus began the development of what was first known as lop-eared cats, later as Scottish folds, a nod to their country of origin and their defining characteristic. Other breeders became involved and it was determined that the gene mutation for the fold was dominant, meaning that if one parent passed on a gene for straight ears and the other a gene for folded ears, the resulting kitten would have folded ears. A gene for long hair was another gift Susie passed on to her descendants. The long-haired variety is known as a Highland fold in some associations. With his short, thick coat, round head and cheeks, big round eyes, and rounded body, the British short hair resembles nothing so much as a cuddly teddy bear. His body is compact but powerful with a broad chest, strong legs with rounded paws, and a thick tail with a rounded tip. The coat comes in just about any color or pattern you could wish for, including lilac, chocolate, black, white, pointed, tabby, and many more. The best known color is blue or gray and the cats are sometimes referred to as British blues. The short hair does not reach full physical maturity until he is 3 to 5 years old. With the way their small ears fit like a cap over their rounded head, the Scottish fold is often described as resembling an owl. The ears range in appearance from a single fold, bent forward about halfway up the ear, to a double fold, somewhat tighter, and the triple fold, lying tight to the head, which is desirable for show cats. Kittens are born with straight ears, which may or may not fold when they are about 3 weeks old. Wide open eyes gaze out at the world with a sweet expression. The medium-sized body is also rounded, completed by a medium to long tail that sometimes ends in a rounded tip. A short-haired fold has a dense, plush coat with a soft texture. The long-haired variety has medium long to long fur with breeches, longer fur on the upper thighs, toe tufts, a plumed tail, and tufts of fur on the ears. They may also have a ruff around the neck. The Scottish fold comes in a number of colors and patterns, including solid, tabby, tabby and white, bicolor, and particolor. I color depends on coat color. For instance, white and bicolor cats can have blue eyes or odd eyes, where each eye is a different color. Hello. This video is sponsored by Bemix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bemixpets.com. Use coupon code kittenlife to get 20% off. British short hair is mellow and easygoing, making him an excellent family companion. He enjoys affection, but he's not a me, me, me type of cat. Expect him to follow you around the house during the day, settling nearby wherever you stop. Full of British reserve, the short hair has a quiet voice and is an undemanding companion. He doesn't require a lap, although he loves to sit next to you. Being a big cat, he isn't fond of being carried around. This is a cat with a moderate activity level. He's energetic during kittenhood but usually starts to settle down by the time he is a year old. More mature British shorthairs are usually couch potatoes, but adult males occasionally behave like goofballs. When they run through the house, they can sound like a herd of elephants. British shorthairs are rarely destructive. Their manners are those of a proper governess, not a soccer hooligan. They welcome guests confidently. After their ears, the first thing you will notice about a Scottish fold is their habit of posing in odd positions. flat out on the floor like a little frog sitting up for all the world as if they were a mere cat on a nature program or lying on their back paws up in the air 
And although you might assume that their ears are less mobile than those of other cats, such is not the case. Scottish folds use those ears to communicate quite effectively, adding comments in a quiet, chirpy voice when necessary. This is a smart, moderately active cat. Scottish Fold enjoys teaser toys that test their agility and puzzle toys that challenge their intelligence. Their favorite activities include anything that involves human interaction. There is nothing a Scottish Fold likes better than to be with their people, participating in whatever they are doing. They're a sweet cat who enjoys attention. The last thing they want is to be left alone for hours on end, so they're not the best choice unless someone is home during the day or you can give them the company of another cat. Rest assured, however, that they will expect you to play with them when you get home from work or school or at least sit down so they can get in a little lap time or curl up next to you while you watch television. British short hair short, smooth coat is simple to groom with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. Comb the Scottish Folds coat weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A long-haired fold may need to be groomed a couple of times a week to ensure that tangles don't develop. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the Scottish Folds litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean, as well. It's a good idea to keep British short hair and a Scottish Fold as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. British short hairs and Scottish folds who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The mild-mannered British short hair and the friendly, laid-back Scottish fold is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they like to play and are capable of learning tricks. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet them. Other cats will not disturb their equilibrium. They're happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.